Hey, Summers. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Make Two and another neighbor visit. So we got an invitation from Kim, and this is the house she wanted us to visit. It's on the mysterious island next to the houseboat docks and what will be this monument, the bridge to the mainland. And as you can see from the town map view, it's a one-story structure and it's got really interesting layout. So it's built on a premium lot because that's what's available on the island. And as we go in this entryway here, <laughs> nice little chest set there. Cool. Cute. I like seeing things like that tucked away in, you know, otherwise unused space because I'm one of those people who likes to fill every space with things. But in here, via this double glass door, you can go into the living room, but before we do that, let's just check. This is a little guest bathroom here off of the entryway. It's just something I do a lot as well. But anyway, the living room is decorated in this sort of light tile as well as most of the house, so that's kind of a nice unifying feel to everything. And then it's decorated in this sort of red and black couches and sort of, you know, centered around the big TV here. And back here, another kind of red-themed set of chairs and desk. I feel like with the tile and kind of the spaciousness of all this, it feels like a very beachy kind of house. Yeah, feel? I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. And then in here is the kitchen and dining area. And what's interesting about this is that the bar stools here are kind of different colors. I like that. And yeah, I think that looks really good. And yeah. red and pink. Yeah, they and sort I, of yeah. complement the bar over here. Yeah, and I think the yeah the bar over there, the drinks bar, mm -hmm. definitely makes it feel a bit more beachy. Yeah, it's nice to have the kind of wraparound counters here that kind of creates a interesting little structure for the kitchen. And then over here is the dining table laid out for a feast, Thanksgiving. Then off of the side of the living room is a hallway. <laughs> There's room for a little toddler's oh, tea set, yeah. Yeah. Off of that hallway, there's a small patio with a gate to get into the yard here. I really like how she separated the house, so there's just this little kind of walkaway nook yeah. In between the rooms. Yeah. Yeah, which also will give more light because it means your rooms can have windows on more sides. True. Yeah. As I said, like, it's just a really interesting structure for, especially a one-story house. You've got all this room to play with on the lot. And mm -hmm. I think that Kim has really done a great job of using the space. So off of the hallway where Natasha is standing now is a bedroom. Keeping the red and black style of the living room, this bed is you know, that very romantic, heart-shaped yeah. headboard. <laughs> and, oh, I like the ca the candles that are on the bedside tables as well. That's really cool. And let's see. On the... Oh, that bedroom, by the way, has a walk-in closet and bathroom of its own. Then on the end of the hall, we get into a different sort of living area for, I would say, the kids. Because okay. in here is a playroom for toddler age. They've got a little table and chairs and, you know, these little, um, what are they called? Blackboards, yeah. And another tea set. Off of this room is another playroom. The sort of the playroom sort of expands. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So maybe, actually, this is more of the playroom. This and could the be toys more have of just a, spilled over, I think. Yeah. Well, I was, th I was thinking, hmm, maybe this is more of a kind of learning the lessons, because that's got a table and all of that. But then there is the reading bookcase here, so... Kids have a lot of toys. Yeah, mixed toys and learning. <laughs> and then off of here, I would say, is the toddler bedroom. Yeah, let me just say now that to the left of this, this little room here mm. is kind of office is only accessible from the outside. That's true. Yeah. It's like a private little yeah. office study area. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And then 
off the end of that playroom is a sort of maybe a kind of through room because yeah. off of there is how you get into this bedroom. I still think it's kind of like the hallway corridor. Mm -hmm. It's just a bit of an odd shape to yeah. it, which I think is yeah perfectly natural. Yeah. So then this bedroom is maybe for an older teen or another adult perhaps, and it's kind of decorated in this really pretty pink style on the wallpaper and the matching windows and the flower and the knight's table. And I really like this bed, by the way. It's one of the more kind of colorful modern beds in The Sims Replay. And that room also, like the other bedroom, has its own walk-in closet and bathroom. Very nice. And then we get into the yard, which is also accessible from... Well, basically, <laughs> it's accessible from the patio over here, and... And from that little doorway yeah. in the middle there. Yeah, but then this set of rooms is not accessible uh, from the So you've kind of got yeah. one main building yeah. and one little office and these two little rooms that are also yeah. just sort of separate. Yeah, that's really interesting to have, yeah, sort of a separate wing almost of the house where, yeah, yeah the entrances are only from the outside. So, yeah, this little porch here, through room here, and um, I would say this is kind of it looks like yeah. a hobby room, obviously because of the fashion studio. Yeah, but it's also, you know, just got a TV and couches, so it's yeah. kind of a nice relaxing place and also maybe like a refuge for the, the adult in the house to come in here and <laughs> <laughs> work on their sewing while also relaxing and watching TV, getting away from it all. Like they don't even have to access the rest of the house. You know, they only would come in through here. And if you wanted to harass mom or dad or whoever was in this room, you'd have to really go to some effort. <laughs> so in the yard is a kind of scattering of different things. You've got chairs, table, picnic table, and um, a swing set and a sandbox for the toddler, dog house for the dog. A rabbit hutch yep. for the rabbits. Yep. And a picnic table. I, I really like how it makes it look very lived in. Yeah, this yeah. is definitely a family home. You can get that sense of that, yeah. yeah that's the thing I like about the player-designed home, one of the pre-built houses in Sims. It does just have a sense of, even though it's a bit of an odd design and a bit annoying, it does have just, a, it feels very lived in and natural. Yeah, all the different decorating items, yeah, contribute to that feeling. And over here is a patio with grill and chairs, table again and a po paddling pool for oh, the that's toddler pretty shape. yeah basically i like just all the little touches throughout that make it definitely seem like a family home and one extra little room yeah another chill out room because the other chill out rooms were not enough for the adults you need one more and this is nice it's got the make out couch and the kind of pink theme bookcase matching the wallpaper and a little cupid there <laughs> cool so hopefully you guys enjoyed this tour of Kim's house. We certainly did. Thank you so much for the invitation. And please let us know in the comments what you think. And if you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And also please subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Thanks for watching.